Hello, everyone. You know, a friend of mine, we were out talking the other day. It was beautiful out. He has an awesome car. And we looked at each other and we said, it's photo time. Perfect. He got his car washed and I grabbed my X-T5 to get some of the shots that you see right now. And I really, I really love these photos. But the exact look and feel wouldn't be possible except for this one, a little bit lesser known feature that makes Fuji cameras and especially the X-T5 and the X-H2 stand out a little bit, which I'll tell you about in a few seconds. Okay, so what is this special feature? These were all taken with the crazy fast electronic shutter speeds that are available in the X-T5 and the X-H2. For what I wanted to shoot and the way I like to shoot, they would not have been possible to take any other way and with many other cameras. So for instance, my Sony a7 IV does not allow me to do this. You see, for this situation, the sun was incredibly bright. So my ISO was already at its lowest native sensitivity and I wanted to shoot all these at 1.2 on the new Fuji 56 millimeter 1.2 WR. And for those of you out there who are telling me, hey, well, you could have just shot with a neutral density filter or closed your aperture down a bit. Yeah, sure, I could have done all that, but I hate ND filters. And also, if you buy a 1.2 lens, let's go ahead and let it rip at 1.2. So on my X-T5, I use shutter speeds at or above 20,000. This allowed me to get very shallow depth of field, making James stand out and giving the photos a cool look that I really, really like. On the X-T5, you might not have even known that this is possible because the shutter dial goes all the way to 8,000 and that's it. However, if we go into the menu, like I'm doing right now, we can select either the electronic shutter or the mechanical and electronic shutter to give us access to these super fast, science-defying shutter speeds. I almost always keep my Fuji cameras on mechanical and electronic shutter, so I have access to these shutter speeds when I need them. Once that's set up in the menus, if we turn our shutter dial to 8,000, we can use the back dial to increase our shutter speeds way above 8,000. You could also turn your shutter dial to the T setting and take over complete control of the shutter speed on the back dial as well. Either way, we can then go up to 180,000 on the shutter speed, which continues to melt my mind. Remember that with the electronic shutter and slower readout speeds of the X-T5 and X-H2, you might get rolling shutter. What that does is make stuff that's moving look weird sometimes, like these buildings here that I shot while panning for no apparent reason except to use it as an example. So just remember that when you're out shooting with electronic shutter speed. I've been using the faster electronic shutter speeds on Fuji cameras for a long time with the X100V, the X-Pro3, the X-T4, and other Fuji cameras. It's a super useful feature that not all other cameras give us access to, and one of the reasons that I like taking my Fuji out. If you like what I do here, if you like my vibe, positivity, having fun, taking photographs, Fujifilm, but other cameras and stuff too are totally cool, come and check out my community. I just started it today. It's on something called the Mighty Networks. It's a lot of fun. I had a community a couple years ago that I really enjoyed working with. We had a lot of great stuff, but I got super busy with life. I had to shut it down, and now I've got something a little bit new that I wanted to share with you. So right now, come and get in there. It's free. I'm going to eventually have courses and content like Fujifilm, JPEG recipes, actions, stuff that you could use in your photographs, uh, ways to make money with photography. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff there, and I'm going to grow this over the next couple of years, and I hope that you're part of it from the beginning. So come and check it out. The link is below. And uh, we'll see you there.